What's up? This is C back at you for week one of the military diet. Um, I just wanted to um, give a quick summary of the whole week. Basically, um, it wasn't that bad um, except for day three, like I, like I stated in the previous videos. Um, there was a couple factors during the week. Um, like I stated, you know, stress. Stress really, you know, affects your body and how how it, it burns calories and all, and even your state of mind. So affects all that, you know. You know, the the mind follows the body and vice versa. The body follows the mind. Um, but I basically followed the diet pretty much uh, to the T. The first, not to the T. The first three days, cause. Day three, I, I did eat one extra tablespoon of cottage cheese, and then I had my healthy shake, which was only 90 calories different than a tablespoon of, of cottage cheese. If, if Even if it was 125 calories over, that's not, I don't think that was significant enough to to um, affect the, the results. Um, however, the rest of Day, the rest of the four days after that, um, well, my total calorie intake for the for the week was day one, I ate 1,168 calories. Day two was 1,095 calories. And day three was 984 calories. And day four, I pretty much ate um, 1,356 calories. And... Um, Day five was more or less in the same range, 1375. Day four, I went over um, the 1500. I actually ate uh, 1685, just 180, uh, 89 grams of calories rather over than the recommended on the diet of 15, 1500. And um, again, that's not a lot to to create any big significance as well and then um the last day yeah i think i'm missing a day one two three four five six no the seventh day was the day that i really kind of like um cheated on like big time i was actually over <laughs> i ate 2604 calories and and you know what to confession i ate ice cream that day I ate ice cream at the party. I went to a little kid's party, my boy's um, kid's birthday party, and they had Carvel ice cream cake that I won't give up for anything. I will eat it. Every time it's around, I will eat it. You know, I don't get all crazy about it, but I can. But um, on the way home, it took me a long time <laughs> to get home because of my, um, you know, South Shore, um, traffic coming back up north and stuff and at the exit I got out guess what there was a Carvel right there and I went to have I wanted to have a I forget what they call them Nutella's ice cream so they didn't have that but I had the next best thing that they had there and since I haven't had a uh, candy in a long time I kind of like went crazy um and I had um what is it called? Uh, I want to say it's a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Dasher. Oh, my God. It was so good. But um, that took me over uh, 1,300 and something calories. 1,304 calories actually over. Again, um, that's nowhere near 3,500 calories. That equals a pound. So I don't understand... Well, other than the, I know the stress levels and not sleeping right affected my results greatly on gaining on my weight back because I started at 149 and after day um, day seven, I actually, when I woke up in the morning, day eight, I actually weighed 148.8. So that means that week one on the military diet, all I lost was 0.2 pounds. <laughs> Which is not, is not a whole lot, you know, but, um, I actually took my measurements moving forward, so I'll see what, what, what comes up. I'm going to do it for a month, like I said previously, and stay tuned for week two, 
and um, follow me on my journey. Thanks. I hope some of this information is helpful for you.